today i'll be teaching us how to do uh, arima or arma model the basic difference between arma and arima is in arma the variable is integrated level the case of arima the variable is either integrated first order difference or second order difference so before doing the model it is necessary to check the stationarity decide the lag for a r and m a with the help of correlogram that is a c f and p a c f a c f decides the lag of m a and p c f decides the lag of a r so the basic condition for running arima is the coefficient should be significant a i c should be minimum sigma square should also be minimum if r square is low you need not worry about it later you have to do a diagnostic checking that is you have to check the residuals with the help of q statistics this steps can be avoided if we are using an automatic arima so when you do automatic arima it gives a perfect model suppose you are doing the first and second step it becomes essential to recheck the model again and again for stationarity so for an easy way to analyze arima it is better to go for automatic arima forecasting so that you can avoid the entire one and two steps so even before going towards the analysis part first you have to decide as to how many days months or years you are going to forecast for that you have to give the cap as to how it has to be given i will show you in the excel sheet so this is my excel sheet where i have got where i have got the date the sales per day and the log of it so i need to forecast only for 3 days that is up to 28 the data is there i need to forecast for 29th 30 and 31st so it is left to you as to how many days or how many years you have to forecast for that you have to generate a space over here by just pulling or scrolling down you can get the year or date or month whatever it is so but at present for the analysis i am just going to focus only for 3 days so that's why i have left a gap like this this is very essential if this is not done your e views will give an error where you can't further proceed with the analysis now i'm getting back so i'm just closing over and i'm getting back to the screen over here so in automatic uh, arima forecasting you need not convert the data into first difference it will be automatically converted your log should be sorry your data should be in log form so as of uh, as earlier told my forecast length is just 3 days so now we'll move on to the analysis part i will just keep it as such so it'll be useful for you all to understand easily so i'm selecting this is the work file of uh, sales and i've taken the log for sales just give a double click over here after giving a double click move on to proc scroll down to automatic arima forecasting there you have got the specification let everything be as default see the periodicity is 365 days that is because every day is taken into consideration that's why the periodicity is 365 days now in the case of estimation sample so you ha don't have the data up to 31st 
you have got only data up to 28 because we are going to forecast up to 31st but the data available is only up to 28th 12 2020 and my forecast length is just three days that is 29 30 31 so this part will be as such there won't be any change if you have got any exogenous variable then you can add it near the regressor it is left to you whether to take the exogenous variable or not it is left to you but at present i have not taken any variable so i am leaving it as such then move on to options after moving on to option you are going to choose a kaiki info info criterion and later the forecast name is ellen's uh, sales hyphen f and just check all these it will be useful for analyzing it and later click ok so your results are coming up you have to wait for a second so the results have come so you can see the first part is a summary part and the word automatic arima forecasting is there so you have got d log it means that the first difference has been taken for the log that's why the word d log is given when i entered the data it was in ln sales form so it has been automatically converted into first difference if Suppose if it is second reference, you would have a D here over here. Then next you can see the sample uh, that is from when it is starting day to the end day. So my end date is 28, 12, 2020 and my forecast length is 3. So the number of ARMA models estimated is say 25 and the selected best model is 4 and 4 why it is 4 4 that is ar is 4 ma is so so when you are writing it will be 4 1 4 why you say this model is best what is the reason since the aic value is less now we will come to this part later i will just uh, expand the screen over here So next is the actual and forecast. So you can find that that is from the day 19th onwards it has been shown on the graph. You can see the these are the actual values of sales up to here. So these are the actual from the blue line it is the forecasted value. So from this line we can infer that it, that is on 29, 30 and 31 the sales will increase because it is just moving upwards very slowly so this is how you have to infer this part the next is your forecast comparison graph that is now i have already told the best arima model is 414 why it is best so out of all these models arma 44 is best and that is represented by this red line over here there you can see a red line over here so that is the best model based on the automatic arima forecasting then later on you are just moving downwards and your your this is your equation output as usual same thing the d log then you can see all your, the constant ar uh, up to 1 2 3 4 then order ma also 4 your sigma square here is minimum then you have to see your one second so your aic is uh, minimum here this i will show why i am using the word minimum here that will be said later your sigma uh, square is also minimum 
while presenting your result you have to write the constant you have to represent a4 because the model chosen is 414 so a4 and m4 this will come back later now we'll just go on to see why i said aic is minimum and why 414 is the best model so when comparing to the entire model put forth over here you can see aic is minimum so 414 is the best model so this four refers to the order of A ar and this four refers to the order of ma then later you've got a graph which also explains the same pattern now i'll just minimize it and i'll just show the interpretation part i'll just show the interpretation part so that be easy uh, the main thing to be shown here is so almost all the uh, coefficients are uh, significant now i'll just show one second so you can see that uh, the ac value is minimum the actual value is in red line and the predicted is in blue line so the sales increases for 3 days so the condition for the arima to be arima model to be fit is all the coefficient should be significant sigma square should be minimum and aic also should be minimum we need not uh, worry about r square for this particular purpose so this is the mathematical specification for the arima model 414 so this is your coefficient which is which is here and this is for ar the fourth order that is see 0.864 and ma4 that alone if you represent is enough so you can see how it has been written helps in forecasting the sales for 3 days since i have uh, given the command only for 3 days that's why so the result shows that there will be an increase in sales for the 3 days now we can check whether our prediction is correct or not for that we can use relative errors where the formula for the relative error is actual value minus the predictive value divided by actual value and then convert that into percentage so if it is less than 5% then the predicted value we can say is good or the average error is less this this extra can be done after say uh, that is on 1st january 2021 after getting the uh, uh, what to say the actual value of the actual sales for the 3 days and later compare it with the predicted value so that you can find out the relative errors as i have already told in the regressor you can add exogenous variable if you have got you can add n number of variables this is how you have to forecast your data hope you are clear with this thank you for listening